Let's discuss now date Bison type. All dates in Bison are stored in ISO format. And here you see an example of the date stored in ISO date format. This is a representation of the date in extended JSON Mongo shell mode. So you see ISO date prefix and in parentheses you see a string. String that represents ISO date. If you want to generate new current date in such format, it means type ISO date along with the value, you can use one of two commands, either new date or ISO date. Both commands will generate same result. In the first case, new date creates new date object, and in the second case, you just invoke ISO date function that itself creates new date object. So, in fact, both commands perform the same operation. Empty parentheses mean that current date will be generated. Please note that if you will omit new keyword, if you just use date and parentheses, then you will generate date in a string format without any type information. So let's look at this in action and switch to the MongoDB shell. So first I will just print date and execute it. You see the date is a function. Then I will add parentheses and you will see that I am getting string as a result. Sometimes it may be useful, but in most cases you will not use such syntax and you will add new at the beginning. So you will generate new date object. Let's execute it. And you see result, value that is equal to my current date and type ISO date. Same result you can achieve using just ISO date and parenthesis command, command enter. So same result. Let me add here new date string in order to show that result will be same. So here is the result of ISO date and here is the result of new date. The difference is just in one millisecond. If I will just use ISO date without parentheses and execute it, I will see that it is a function that returns at the end new date. Let's go on and in the next section discuss how you can generate ISO dates from other dates. See you.